is back. Breaking news. Breaking news in the world of professional wrestling. Today is a very big day. A very big news day because the one and only CM Punk has returned to a wrestling ring for the first time since 2014. This isn't April Fool's Day. This isn't a joke. I'm not trolling you guys. This actually happened. So last night at an MKE wrestling show in Waukesha, Wisconsin, I think I said that right, there was a masked wrestler who ran into the ring and hit a GTS. Of course, the go to sleep CM Punk's finishing move. And you're thinking this could be anybody. Anybody can put on a mask and hit a GTS. It could have been me, but it wasn't me. It was CM Punk and we have proof. So the first piece of evidence is a tweet from another wrestler that was on the show, uh, Silas Young. And he said, last night we held MKE wrestling at the Knights of Columbus building in West Allis. The place was packed with 350 people. This place has had 25 plus years of wrestling and is the place a lot of guys started. Guys like Colt Cabana, as well as Punk, who showed up in a mask last night. And if you don't believe Silas Young, we have even more proof. Because this photo emerged on Instagram from Brett Danner. And here you can see he's posing with CM Punk. And if you look closely, CM Punk's hoodie says, Violent Gentleman. And then if you look at the person, the masked wrestler that ran in and hit the GTS, he's wearing the same hoodie, the Violent Gentleman hoodie. So we can confirm from the tweet, from the Instagram photo, from the hoodie, that CM Punk, Phil Brooks, returned to wrestling last night. And what does this mean? Does this mean he's interested in coming back to wrestling? Was this just a one-off? We have to wait and see, but this is very, very exciting. CM Punk, if anything breaks any more news, any more stories, you will hear it here on Back Breaking News. So make sure you like this video and subscribe, and hopefully catch you on the next video.